Welcome. Oh, Tanaka-san, can I get my usual set, please? You got it. My name is Tanaka Masato. I'm 27 years old and I inherited this diner from my parents. The place existed before I was born, and though the outside is shabby, it is beloved by the locals who come all the time. Mm, this diner's food is really, definitely the best. Sakura Yuki-san is one of our regulars. She works at a restaurant nearby and comes after work nearly every day. Even though I'm not good at talking to people, it was always energetic and easy to talk to her. If I were stuck on a desert island and could ask for one thing, it'd definitely have to be you! If I could eat this, I could live anywhere! I don't know if I could cook the same thing on a desert island. Alright, I'll bring the kitchen utensils and ingredients too. And that would just be camping. Oh, this business is still around. <laughs> Welcome. Wait, Mochio? She's a Scani Mochio. I've been connected to her through fate in many ways. Why are you here? There's some. There was something I wanted to tell you. My boyfriend is going to open a restaurant around here. What? Well, boyfriend, man, main squeeze. Either way, he's my future husband. I'm sure once he opens his restaurant, a rundown diner like this will go out of business. So, I wanted to give you a warning. You just came to brag. Even then, what's up with this food? <laughs> it looks pitiful and cheap just like this diner. That is just your opinion. Excuse me? I don't know who you are, but I love the food here. Could you stop saying weird things? <sighs> if the diner's vibe are as bad as the customer's, we'll be too. Don't involve the customers in this. You shouldn't get you shouldn't be involved. You are always in your feelings and never cheer you for the customer. Um, it's true that I'm bad at smiling. I'm never coming back here ever again. What's up with her? I can't believe she'd say something bad about your food. Sorry, the thing is... She's actually an ex-girlfriend that I used to date over a year ago. We met at a singles event and at first, she seemed really nice, so we started dating. But not long after, I decided to introduce her to my restaurant. This is the restaurant you said you manage? Yeah, I inherited from my parents. It's a little rough on the outside, but the food is... Yeah, that's enough. I don't want to date you anymore. What? Why all of a sudden? I was dating you because you said you were a manager, but I can't believe you were talking about this rundown diner. So you were just with me for my money? Obviously, otherwise, why would I date a plain-looking guy that can't even hold a conversation? What? I can't believe you tried to trick me. You're unbelievable. I never want to see your face again. So, we broke up. She never came by the restaurant until... I had no idea that this is how I would see her again. I'm sorry that you got involved too. There's nothing you need to apologize about. She's the one in the wrong. And I think your food is the best. Oh! No matter what anyone says, your food is the best in the world. I'm sure your other regulars feel the same way. Thank you so much. I'll work hard to make it even more delicious. Sometime after that, just as she said, a new restaurant had opened. After that, I somehow felt the numbers of customers decreased. A restaurant really did open up. About that, there's something I want you to try. Huh? Here you go. Is this a new menu item? It's what we had before, but arranged a little better. I wanted your opinion before I made the change. 
got it. Thank you. I'll give it a try. Mm, just as I thought. Your cooking is always incredible. Thank you so much. I'll start serving it immediately. Why don't we also advertise it on social media? Huh? But I don't have an account. I'll do it for you. I've got 100k followers. Sakurai-san is great with people. It makes sense that she'd be popular. After that, because of her advertising, the number of customers drastically improved. This is more people than they had before this diner opened. Sakurai-san is incredible! Here's your order. This is delicious! It's completely different from that new restaurant. Is something the matter? The customer service is terrible. They didn't greet us or thank us and was bad at talking. Also, when the dish is cooled down and I asked to get it reheated, I made a big fuss about it being crema. Am I really that bad? Not to mention, she wouldn't stop bragging about her boyfriend. Her boyfriend, her man, her main squeeze, her future husband, or whatever. That sounds kind of familiar. Wait, could it be Mochio? But the manager here is polite and the atmosphere is nice. Oh, thank you. Oh, you are a little quiet. Oh, got it. There are things I should also reflect on. Even she said I wasn't good with customers and it'd be a problem if customers didn't like me. Okay, maybe I should finally go there. A couple days later. Welcome! Oh, Tanaka-san, is your diner okay? It's my day off. I thought today I would learn how to handle customers from you. What? I actually got told I was too quiet. You were bright and energetic, and I figured I could learn something. Got it. Okay, I'll do my best. Though today she's... She? What are you doing here? Oh, Mochio. You are also here. I'm actually here with the guy I'm dating right now. Well, boyfriend or man. Yeah, that's enough. The whole reason I'm even able to come to such a nice restaurant is because of him. I was right to break up with you. <laughs> also, why are you even here? This is a nice restaurant. Can you even afford to come here? It's no problem because I have money. There's no point in trying so hard. Please watch what you say. This restaurant is actually a subsidiary of the one. What? What are you talking about? No way. It's true. Before I started running that restaurant, I managed a number of restaurants. What? I told you that my parents managed that one, right? Well, because of their age, it was hard to work long hours so they weren't able to continue. So, it was decided that I would take over. That restaurant is important to me and the locals, so I decided to take over. I decided to give management of the other restaurants to someone else. Now, I'm the owner. Wait, so that means you are really wealthy? Why don't you tell me you manage a fancy restaurant instead? Given that you are after money, you must understand why. Also, why would I mention that before we were actually dating? <sighs> I can't believe you're more successful than me. My boyfriend is going to be better than you. But you? What are you doing? Oh, that person. Darling, I don't want to come here anymore. Let's go home. But wait, hold on. You're grabbing too tight. Huh. Wait, is that person? Is something up? No, nothing. Let me order something. After that, I decided to ease I had planned. I was able to watch Sakurai-san interact with customers, and it ended up being helpful. Also, I started to get more tips from her.
I see. That was really helpful. I'm glad I could be of use. Oh, there's some sauce on your cheek. Huh? Where? Please don't move. She's close. Okay, it's gone. Uh, thank you so much. The next day, I started using what I learned on the customers. So? Jeff, recently you become more cheery. It's great. Thank you so much. I learned everything from Sakurai-san. <laughs> I'm glad to have been useful. But why did you decide to change all of a sudden? Oh, I started worrying that if I stayed quiet, customers won't like my restaurant. That's not true. Even before, you seemed like a great guy, and I've always respected you. What? You took over your parents and the locals, right? This food is delicious and you always treat the customers as number one. So you are the reason I started working at the restaurant. I see. So, I've also been useful to the people around me? It'd be perfect if you had a wife. How about her? You guys seem to suit each other. <laughs> what? Hey, what are you guys even saying? I can't have a relationship with her. Though she has always cheered me on when I've struggled. And she's honest and bright and good. Well, now it just sounds like I like her. Um, Tanaka-san. Actually, I wouldn't mind if you asked me out. Oh, well, then how about the next time the restaurant is closed? So, the next day off, we decided to go on a real date. Sorry for keeping you waiting. Oh no. I wasn't waiting long. You look nice. Really? <laughs> I chose this hoping you'd like it. I'm glad. God, she's too sweet. After that, we headed to the aquarium. It's a little dim, huh? It'd be bad if we ended up getting separated. Um, sh shall we hold hands? Oh, sure. If we got separated, it would be an issue, so... Here you go. Her hand is so small. Let's go. Uh, okay. We officially started our date holding hands and ensuring no one got separated. We watched the fish and the dolphin show and decided to eat in the cafe. Our time passed together before we could even realize. Time flies when you're having fun. I'm happy I was able to go out with you. I had fun too. Let's do it again sometime. Yeah! I definitely like her. I should pick a day and confess my feelings to her. But a couple days later... Hey, we've got a problem. Turns out next door, they are spreading rumors about this restaurant. What? God, it's gotta be Mochio. Apparently she's telling customers bad things about the restaurant. I don't think people will believe it if they've been here before, but for the people that never have, they might actually believe it. I'm sure it'll be okay. You're always so calm and collected. Wait, what are you making? Actually, someone work-related is coming. Huh, <laughs> as usual, he reeks in here. Didn't you say you were never coming back? I heard some bad things about your restaurant, so I got worried and came to check on you. Aren't you the one spreading it? Who knows? I have no idea what you're talking about. But if the rumors does spread, then customers really don't want to come. So that's why you did it. Like I said, I don't know anything about that. I'm sure this is just karma for tricking me. To think that you are richer than me, this rundown diner better suits you. I see. If that's true, then how about you try earning your own money for once? What? You're just using your boyfriend's money, right? That's not money you made. 
are you talking about? His money is my money. Sorry, I was running late. Darling? Machio, what are you doing here? Oh, that's what I should be asking you. This rundown diner doesn't suit you. What are you saying? That's the owner of my restaurant. What? I came to have a meeting. You should tell me why you're here. Oh, the thing is... What? wait You aren't going to tell him about that, right? You mean the fact that you were talking badly about my restaurant? What? I said not to tell him! What have you done? Without him, I wouldn't even have a restaurant. I didn't know that. It doesn't matter even if you didn't know. I'm breaking up with you right now. Wait, I did it for you. It seems like this rundown restaurant was doing better than yours. That's because you were rude to the customers. You begged to work so I let you, but I'm at my limit. Don't ever involve yourself in my restaurant ever again. Why? Why would you believe the rundown diner owner over me? It is natural to believe the chef. After everything he has done for the area and the locals. He often volunteers and when he sees a poor student, he offers them their meal at half price. He's kind, so it's natural to believe him. God, I can't believe no one will believe in me. I'm never coming back to this place. After that, Mochio was kicked out of the apartment she shared with her boyfriend. She had to work for herself, but because she didn't have experience, she had to stick with part-time jobs. So apparently, she's living in a run-down apartment and living a poor life. On the other hand, my restaurant has continued to be successful. Her rumors were luckily only heard by the locals, and because they knew me, they didn't believe what she said. They came by to support me and came more frequently. The fact that they would do this for me is probably because I always treated them well. I hope to make my future customers also happy. And about her. Mm, just as I thought, it's amazing. Thank you. The fact that I was able to make it this far is because you always cheered me on. <laughs> I haven't done anything a normal person would do. No, I feel really relaxed when you are next to me. So? Will you always be next to me? Huh? Wait, are you? I like you. I want you to be my girlfriend. Yes! You are hardworking and kind. I like you too. Please let me be your girlfriend and always be at your side. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. And don't forget to check out our other episodes too. According to my calculations, you are about to like and subscribe to our videos. Thank you for watching! See you next time!